What up guys? Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and today I'm testing out some new lippies for you. It is the new Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. Woo! All these brands keep coming out with very long-winded product names, but that's okay. We're gonna test it out anyways. Full disclaimer, I received these two products from Influencer for testing purposes for free. So this video is not sponsored at all and they didn't tell me I had to post a YouTube video, but you know me and I always like to give you guys the full review on everything right here on my channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do first impressions and I will do a little wear test to see how long these little suckers last. Okay. Oh my goodness, before I go any further, I have to say what I am so excited about is this week, I found out that Laura Mercier is back to being cruelty free or they are cruelty free or whatever, but rumor has it they're cruelty free and they don't sell in China where animal testing is mandatory. So they don't sell there. Woo! That is just a little small victory for the cruelty free brands out there and for the animals out there. That's a super big victory. I was watching Kristen Leanne who is a cruelty free YouTuber. So I was watching her Snapchat and she saw it came across this fact that Laura Mercier is now cruelty free. So as far as I know, as far as what I researched, that is true. So hopefully Laura Mercier will hear how excited everybody is and stay that way. We gotta make some noise, you guys. Make some noise for the animals, woo! I'm not 100% cruelty free yet, but I am doing my best to start giving my money to the companies that do not test on animals and everything. It is a big battle, but we are here and we are trying to do it, right? All right, so the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick currently comes in 24 shades. And I was sent two of these shades. I was sent the kind of reddish one called Dominate, and then I was sent a very pretty pinky new one called Ruthless. In the box I was sent, it didn't really have too much information about these lipsticks, so I went ahead and looked it up on the Laura Mercier's website, which is where they are available right now. They retail, it looks like, for $28 a piece, so a little bit more on the luxury brand side, in my opinion. Let's see what they claim. So they claim extreme matte, extreme control, so a modern matte lipstick, so seductive in color, touch and texture, the sensation is irresistible. Okay. Mattifying powders and silky conditioners envelop your lips in the softness and comfort of velour. So like a velour matte to me is not like completely drying matte. It's more of a moisturizing matte. What else? Extreme color payoff. So super pigmented. I did swatch these on my wrist and they were pretty pigmented. They didn't seem like they would have a huge wear time. They did seem more moisturizing, but I haven't put them on my lips yet. I'm going to test that here for you guys. So this is supposed to be like a lip liner and lipstick in one because of the slim design. It says it has a built-in sharpener. Uh, customizing the tip for precision, but I have not seen where that is yet. I'm looking and exploring. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I found it. Okay, here is the built-in sharpener. So I was looking everywhere for that. I didn't say anywhere, oh, pull here or anything like this, but I just pulled this little guy. You can see it like that, and we should be able to sharpen. So let me go ahead and sharpen it. Let me do the pink first. I will do the pink first. Okay, so and then that's the product on that side with the large cap. It does not have any instruction. I hope I'm doing this right. That's odd. Okay, I must not be doing it right, but that's odd. It just seems like a lot of product is in there and it's not really sharpened. So, uh, okay, the sharpener is a little odd. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it just seems to be smushing everything around and not really sharpening. Okay, so this is Ruthless, a nice little pinky nude. Not anything crazy with the packaging, just like the typical Laura Mercier simple sleek packaging. It says extreme right here on the cap. To be completely honest, it's a little 80s to me, a little retro. Not that that's the worst thing, but I almost feel like they could do without the extreme because it kind of cheapens the look of the packaging. Just a personal little side note there, nothing big. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit so you can see it being applied. So you're supposed to be able to use this as a liner, however, it's not quite as sharp as I usually like to do it. So let me just give this a shot. Doesn't really have a smell to it. It's thick like lipstick and it's definitely applying like you would think a matte lipstick would. I thought these would be a lot like lip crayons, but no, the texture going on is a lot like lipstick. Very, very thick, rich and creamy. Huh. Very pigmented. Definitely when you, it's like stops. I'd say the hardest part, it's really hard. 
to get it to go in the insides of my mouth, which I hate seeing. You know, you don't want it to be on your teeth, but you don't want to show it on camera like the insides of your lips. So that's a little challenging, but you can see the first one. Very pink. It's bubblegum pink, but nude. Like it's not like a crazy intense pink, but it's not super nude either. So know that. Okay, that's been like a minute to let dry. Um, I'm seeing in the mirror just a little bit of dryness right here, but other than that, it looks good. My lips don't look lush and plump necessarily. I guess the wear time is what we need to really test. Let's see if it transfers. Absolutely. Absolutely transfers. Um, it's not going on my teeth though, which that's nice. Uh, you know, it's not slipping and sliding. It is staying put, except it does transfer. Let's go ahead and try the other color and see what that's all about. Go in with Dominate, this nice little brickish orangey red. I really like this color. This is really pretty. Very bold. You know, this one's not as like hard. It's a little more silky. How interesting. The different colors are a little bit different. Still creamy and thick thick um but a little bit more smooth huh okay it is a little bit hard let me try doing the sharpener because it's really hard to get like a completely precise line without a lip liner so let me try this little bad boy maybe if i twist more up i'm scared i don't want to waste all the product okay okay oh, okay now it's coming out now you can see it coming out seems like quite a waste of product but got a sharp it didn't do that much it did a little bit oh it seems like I'm just smushing it maybe it just stamps it okay you kind of just stamp it then that's a little bit sharper barely but it's such a mess it kind of mushed around the edges a little bit sharpen it up so it's a little bit sharper but it's a little bit of a hassle I think they need to perfect that contraption a little bit better no it is very hard to use this as a lip liner ah, it's like blurry lines it's not like a hard line it's definitely a little bit of a blurry line let me try cleaning that up because it like goes like that i swear every time i do a lip video like the night before a zit decides it wants to creep up and it's like i need to film anyways i don't care how i film but it's like what are the chances that like for months i won't have any pimples nearby and then oh you're doing a lip video hey i want to join the party thanks thanks for my little zip friend okay so i guess i could just clean that up with concealer a little bit uh but a little bit of a fuss i just can't get them perfect my lips don't feel as dry with the dominate as it did the ruthless and not transferring on my teeth so that's nice and uh matte but not too drying let's do a little ombre shall we take the little middle one that's the pink one and then put it in the middle a little bit. Now they blend really nice together, so that's nice. Okay, so overall thoughts with this. I think what they're aiming at is more of your travel kind of lip kit situation where you don't have to fuss as much since it's supposed to be the liner and lipstick built into one. Now, I can see too much of a little bit of a blurry line for my taste. I like to use a lip liner because you can get a more solid line there but it might be a really great option if you're on the go a lot you're traveling and you don't have time to do all the little tricks because the color payoff is amazing it does feel really matte but not too drying so it's kind of trying i see what they're doing they're trying to take the best of both worlds and put it into one container sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't just like shampoo conditioner combos those don't work but maybe with some trials this one will start working uh definitely from far away on camera it looks really good um, but when I get up close, I can just see some blurry lines and imperfections. So will I continue to wear these two colors? Yeah, I think I'll still experiment with them, play around with them. And you guys know I always try to update you down in the comments below and then also on my Snapchat and Instagram story. So make sure to follow me there. And before you guys leave and fall down the rabbit hole, which is YouTube, please go down and hit that little subscribe button if you want to see more. I post two times a week. But don't leave yet. I still have the wear test to see how long it has lasted. So let's go see how long it lasted, shall we? Okay guys, it has been two hours and I wanted to do a quick check-in because I just had some hot tea. Sorry this lighting is going to be a little bit odd because I'm in my bathroom and I'm just doing a check-in on my phone, doing my old school way. Uh, but my throat's feeling a little bit scratchy. I don't know if it's allergies or what and my eyes 
to block. So I had some hot honey, lemon tea, and I wanted to show you guys a little cup test. So not too shabby compared to most lipsticks would be like a total lip imprint and that's kind of like a faded fuzzy lip print. And then my lips also look really fresh and really nice. I'm really liking that wear time so far. Usually if I drink something like it'd be all smudgy and gross and really cracked and it's not looking cracked or anything. Looking pretty seamless and nice. I'll check in after I eat dinner because that's gonna be pretty soon and let you know how the eating test goes, okay? Okay guys, so it has been almost five hours and I ate and I had some hot tea and I had water and everything and they look like they are holding up pretty well. Just still a tiny, tiny little bit of transfer but um, the color maybe isn't as dark but it still stayed on pretty, pretty well I would say from what I can see. So this seems like a nice on the go like lip product that like you don't have to you know if you don't have time to do the whole lip liner lipstick everything and it's not gonna fail you through eating and through work and talking and stuff uh, maybe just taking a little bit more time around the edges which is something that I can work on as I use it that's the odd thing about first impressions is it's like instant like feelings on it not like a thorough full review where i've been trying something for a while and then letting you guys know so like i said before make sure that you follow me on snapchat and instagram stories and everything because i can update you there and let you guys know if i'm still liking it or if i found a trick to make the sharp lines work but overall overall i'm pretty happy not dry i do have that slight weird little dry patch which was probably just my lips. Uh, so overall, I'm pretty happy. Take with it what you will. The price point is a luxury price point, $28. So just decide for yourselves if that is worth the investment. All right, last check-in and uh, it's been a little over six hours now. I'm about to wash my face and everything. And uh, yeah, still holding up okay. Starting to finally get the fade in there. Um, really quickly, let's see if I can reapply it without it getting gross. Okay, that reapplied really nicely. So I think like, ah, uh, itchy face, I have like itchy face at the end of the day. Um, reapplied really nicely, not cakey, not flaking up or anything. Yeah, looks fresh again. I actually feel like this lipstick held up better than the rest of my makeup. However, the rest of my makeup I put on before the lipstick unless I'm ready to take these off oh my goodness oh. thank you guys so much for watching and have a great lovely day